They're yeah. in the back, folks. Gris- Grizzly, are you on the line with me this time? <laughs> I am. I am here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. After an hour of me trying to work my freaking phone, my wife's got me this touch phone, and I'm calling other people, doing all kinds. Now we've got ROH star Grizzly Redwood on the line. Grizzly, how's it going? It's going fantastic. How are you guys doing? We're great now that you're here. (laughs) Yeah, we were talking about slow jams and music, and it was just going all in the left field. So, Grizzly, thank you for coming back in and reeling it back in for us. Yeah, I do what I can. All, All right, right. Uh, you know, let's let's just jump into this since we've lost some valuable time because you know Darius needs to go back to a, a rotator phone and everything. Grizzly, <laughs> on 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 the internet, you seem to be you know you, you seem to be a cult favorite. I've got we've got tons of fans and listeners and you know friends on the internet from different rate, uh, wrestling sites, and they all love Grizzly Redwood. When we had Kerry Silkin on, we said we want Grizzly Redwood for champ. What do you think about how how do you feel about the fan base that you have? Uh, I'll tell you what, it's really it, it's a great feeling. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. every every you go, people are just they're really they're really getting attached to Grizzly Redwood and seem to be hopping right along, and it's fun. It, it makes everything a lot more fun for me. Yes, yes. Now, recently, you, you got in the ring one on one with the uh, heavyweight world heavyweight champion. How was that like? Uh, exciting and terrifying at the same moment. <laughs> uh, it, it was a thrill when he drew my name, especially you know going back. Austin Aries is actually the guy who trained me originally, uh, and uh, being able to get in the ring with him was it was like a dream come come true as a student of his. But at the same time. You know, I'm getting in the ring with the world champ. Mm-hmm. He's world champ for a reason. And uh, it was a learning experience. It was a lot of fun. Even though, even though I didn't come away with the belt. Close, though. Close. Yes. Right. Now, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jay. No, I, I was, was just, just going to say how, you know, describe to us, Grizzly Redwood breaking into the wrestling business. Take us back to, you know, day one. Day, day one. Oh, wow. Uh, well, I trained at the Ring of Honor Wrestling School, as I'm sure a lot of people know. Uh, at the time, I was living in Southern Maryland, so to and from training, I had about a four-and-a-half-hour drive. And uh, it, was pre- it was pretty scary. I got up I got up here for my first day of training, and the, the first guy I walked I walked in the door and I saw at the R.H. Wrestling School was a skinny, goofy haircut having retitis. Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it, it was something else. It, it, was a, it was a real fun experience. Uh, yes. I, I, I hope you you smack some sense in the Brett. Brett. You know that's that's my boy. We he he was on the show a couple you know a couple weeks ago and him and I got got into a back and forth about who was the bigger ladies man. I hope you snagged some sense into them that day. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't. I don't know if many people can hold a candle to a dick that'll love red titus if it comes to that. To tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, at, at the time when I met him, he was just a he was just a happy, happy-go-lucky guy. I don't, I don't know what's gotten into him lately, though. <laughs> <laughs> the fame and the ladies have gotten into him. <laughs> it, it, it could definitely be it. Now we we we've also had a you know I don't know if he's your favorite person in the world Prince Nana on the show you, you uh, what's up with you in the embassy? Okay, I'll, I'll I'll tell you what. Hopefully it's all all said and done now. That that that, that hobo Ernie got his beard shaved. <laughs> you guys walking around, he's not fit to have such a beard. He's not he's not man enough for the privilege of a great beard. Uh, uh, to tell you the truth, he started. I beat him in a match one day in Connecticut, and he stole my hat. And it just started rolling from there. He kept taking things from me, interfering in my matches, hitting me with my own log. Luckily, though, I, I had my good buddy the next butcher on my side. Uh, that yeah, that's 
a very enjoyable feud on on my part. <laughs> what has been your favorite feud that you've been involved with? I mean, I, I guess today that's probably my only feud. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's the only real real big long long thing I had to deal with as far as wrestling goes. Mm-hmm. Favorite match to date? Oh wow, uh, there's a few, but the most fun I ever had. Considering I got, I got my butt handed me pretty well. You guys followed Chikara at all? It was uh, me, Brody, me, and Eddie Kingston versus what was called Team Uppercut of Brian Danielson, Claudio Castagnoli, and uh, Dave Taylor. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that, that match, that match was a lot of fun. Okay, we've got. We, I've got a question. Sorry, I've got a question from one of our uh, listeners, Tanisha. Uh, she wants to know your favorite, you know, if you have any favorite old school wrestlers. Ooh, uh, hands down, Ricky Steamboat's my favorite old school wrestler. He, he's the most enjoyable to watch, and he was just—he was so good at every at every, every small aspect of wrestling. He was just so good at it. And he's by far my favorite, probably my favorite of all time. Man, it's not a bad one to have. He's—he's—he's he's, he's a good one, definitely. Yeah. He can still actually go too, so hey, you might, you might, you know, you might be able to get it on with Ricky one day. He can still go in the ring, apparently. I'd be the luckiest man in the world if that happened. <laughs> All right, um, now where, you know, where, where, where do you think this this love affair came? You know, people embracing, you know, you in your flannel, your little, your your axe, or your you know, your piece of wood, and, you know, why do you think the fans just embraced you like that? Yeah, yeah. I ask myself that question every day. <laughs> it, 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 I don't know, but it's just, I guess it's just something about the flannel that warms people's hearts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grizzly, Grizzly, you, you spoke of, you know, hopefully the, the feud with the embassy uh, is done with. Uh, where next? Who who who's lined up for you now that you you got your eyes on, or who would you like to fight? Hmm. Let me see. That, that's a good question. I, I'm ready to take on anybody who's ready willing to step in the ring with the littlest lumberjack. Honestly, <laughs> um, you know what? You know who I got a big problem with that I'd like to settle a score with. Probably not the smartest decision in the world, but Bison Smith. Oh wow. Wow. Uh, big guy, big guy. Had a couple of bones to pick with that guy. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but there's a you know, a little bit of a uh, of a size advantage. Is that the smartest idea? Uh, a little bit, but he he's run in a couple of my matches over the past year and I have been in a match or two with him and he's throwing me around and beating me up pretty bad. I I can't let that go. I gotta get my I gotta get back at him sooner or later. I gotta chop him down. Okay. Ring of Honor is on it. Go ahead, Shane. No, continue the plug. We we need to. I was just plug. saying need, about Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor. Yes, Ring of Honor on HD Net. Um, it, it it definitely had an impact on 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 the show. You know, what are your thoughts on being on Monday nights now? Honestly, I don't think as far as. Me as a wrestling fan, there's not a better wrestling show out there that I want to watch. Mm. It's got it's got the right mix of action and personality, and it, it's all it's all put in like a wonderful action-packed hour, and it's right before Raw, and I, I think it's great for us. I think it's great. Now, you, you, y'all y'all seem to stick to the Northeast. Uh, obviously, I I don't I don't think that you're in the management side of things, but do you? foresee them moving south any because um, you know I'm way down here in South Carolina you know I'm trying to get a you know a glimpse of ROH in you know live and in person um, our, our TVs are all done in the Northeast here in Philadelphia but we usually you know we also got the Midwest and Canada and I think January is California mm. uh, I'd love to go I personally I'd love to go further south I'd love to go up to Carolinas or, or Atlantas or into Florida more often with Ring of Honor. I think it'd be real good and a lot of fun. When is the next? Uh, yeah. 
when, when's the next TV taping for?